Hi everybody, Mike Leiden here from International Academy of Consciousness. Uh, I'm here to interview today uh, William Brown, who's going to be presenting at the first International Congress of Conscientiology. Uh, and that's happening from May 22nd to the 24th, 2015, so it's coming up soon. Uh, conscientiology means consciousness science from a post-materialistic and multidimensional point of view. And um, my, uh, uh, the gentleman that I'm interviewing today, uh, Mr. Brown, is uh, presenting a talk called The Unified Space Memory Network from Cosmogenesis to Consciousness. And uh, just a little bit about, I, I just want to give the viewers a little bit of, uh, about your, your curriculum vitae here. Uh, Mr. Brown is a biophysicist and research scientist at the Resonance Project Foundation and Hawaii Institute for Physics. Uh, and there he performs experimentation and theoretical work to better understand the physics of complex systems. Um, and in your work, you explore all systems of knowledge from physics and biology to ontology. Uh, and for people without a philosophy background, ontology means um, the study of essences. And it's, kind of, kind of, it's a branch of metaphysics and the nature of consciousness. And although your explanation of understanding is uh, all-inclusive, your professional background is in cellular and molecular biology. And uh, you've worked in numerous laboratory facilities across the U.S. performing research in molecular genetics and biology research also. Um, and after extensively studying uh, biochemical processes of molecular biology, you've extended your investigation to the physics of living and complex systems, specifically the theoretical framework for how consciousness may be engendered, as well as ordering mechanisms driving evolution and neg entropy. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so just to start, ne neg entropy is that the same thing as syntropy? Is it oh, the same thing? Uh, w well, it, it, it's a uh, it's encompassed in the concept of uh, syntropy. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Um, you have entropy, which is uh, the tendency to increase in disorder. Uh, neg entropy uh, is what you observe in uh, living systems. Uh, most systems of the biosphere on Earth, uh, which is the tendency to decrease in disorder or conversely uh, increase in order. Uh, and so uh, now you can have a balance between the two, uh, which is uh, uh, what you often observe, especially uh, uh, in many contexts within the living system, which is uh, uh, you have entropic processes and negentropic processes uh, that are balanced. So uh, it, it could even be thought of as like a, a, um, a, a heterotrophy in uh, animal uh, or cat. Uh, catabolism uh, and anabolism, so kind of like uh, building and breaking down, etc. Uh, the c centropy. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the concept of uh, neg entropy uh, is really central to um, understanding the uh, uh, larger uh, e evolutionary dynamics of the universe uh, itself and its progression towards uh, complex systems. Uh, Okay, cool. Um, so, so can you can you explain a little bit about your talk, like what you're going to be exploring, um, just some of the, the, the key ideas, um, maybe what question you're trying to answer or address um, through through your, your talk at the ICC? Uh, so um, it's really uh, how do we scientifically characterize consciousness mm -hmm. uh, so that we can begin to have uh, um, an open, unbiased uh, dialogue uh, uh, with scientific discourse about uh, consciousness and uh, the nature of consciousness, which is uh, a somewhat convoluted subject within the sciences. Uh, but th that's another thing I hope to address. But uh, and it's it's fairly simple from a scientific viewpoint uh, uh, in that um, looking at uh, information, mechanisms of perception, memory, communication, intercommunication, and integration of information, uh, all of these are, are explicable, quantifiable, and identifiable uh, 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 processes of, that occur in physical systems. But uh, those five things form 
the basis of consciousness, conscious processes. Uh, so immediately uh, w we can identify what kind of processes are occurring uh, that um, accompany uh, or support uh, uh, sentience, uh, awareness, and consciousness. Uh, so, you know, being able to discuss this in very uh, uh, scientific terms. Uh, so, how do we scientifically characterize consciousness? Leaving aside some of the, the more uh, 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 metaphysical ideas for the moment, you, you know, first, what are we talking about with consciousness? Before we start addressing uh, some of the more metaphysical things, because uh, I know that some of our more philosophically inclined uh, 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 individuals will immediately say, well, you cannot quantify consciousness, etc. But we're not getting there yet. Uh, uh, and then, so, what is uh, the nature of consciousness to the larger macro system of the universe uh, and for me this is a really critical area to um, clear to, 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 to uh, uh, clear up uh, investigate really uh, because there are two really distinct uh, fields or perspectives uh, theories in this regards uh, and um, I, I explore these two uh, there's uh, one, one is emergentism that uh, uh, consciousness arises in sufficiently complex systems like the human brain but it doesn't have any real uh, um, uh, uh, effects or, or, or uh, functions within the larger macro system uh, uh, of uh, the external world. It's an internal phenomenon, uh, just a vehicle for interpreting an external reality. Uh, that's emergentism. Uh, but then uh, another equally valid uh, perspective uh, that many theorists uh, um, are, are inclined towards is uh, what could be termed panpsychism. Uh, that consciousness isn't just an emergent phenomenology, but that it is, is actually uh, uh, ubiquitous or an intrinsic characteristic or aspect of uh, the physical world. Uh, and so that uh, uh, sentient processes, dynamics, uh, uh, information processes uh, are fundamental and uh, uh, indelible to the behavior and functionality of the external world and the universe as a whole. And so uh, consciousness as experienced uh, uh, in the animal mind uh, uh, arises in part because uh, it's a, a um, intrinsic characteristic or aspect of the evolution and development of, of physical systems and complex systems. Uh, uh, in particular. Okay, so so under the, the let's say the panpsychic lens, right? Panpsychism uh -huh. means uh, everything has some degree of awareness. Yes. And uh, so under the panpsychic lens, consciousness and um, manifestation and life are kind of like two sides of the same coin. I'm saying ma manifestation and life is one side of the coin, consciousness is the other side of the coin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh not only does awareness, sentience, or consciousness uh, become a defining characteristic of what it is to be alive or living, but uh, that uh, ubiquitous characteristic of awareness processes of sentience means that there is uh, a, a ubiquitous uh, living uh, nature. Uh, to the universe, that that, um, that, uh, that the universe is a living system, and its subsystems are living systems, uh, and the, the awareness is a defining characteristic that, uh, uh, that produces that uh, uh, um, uh, uh, essence. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Well, so so it sounds like so this is going to be uh, the essence of your talk. Going in, is it is it going to be exploring these ideas, or are you proposing that the panpsychic model, so to speak, um, accounts for the the current data that we have within uh, within physics and consciousness research better than other models? Well, um, I actually show a unification in my mind. Between emergentism and panpsychism, okay. uh, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, emergentism really does have, uh, um, I think, valid points. Although um, I, 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 it's really more of a, a panpsychism uh, a framework that I, I end up with, uh, uh, mm -hmm. but um, not denying the validity of emergentism. So for me, it's kind of a unification of that. Uh, but uh, b beyond just uh, exploring it, uh, we'll be, I'll be showing the actual physical mechanisms and structures. Um, it, that's a little bit vague, but uh, if you're at the talk, you'll, you'll know what I'm uh, uh, referring to. Mm -hmm. But the, the actual physical mechanisms and structures that engender uh, what we would call panpsychism, or a ubiquitous awareness, uh, a, a sentience that um, uh, is non-local in, in its uh, reach and attributes um, uh, contained in, in all uh, points and domains of, of space-time. Uh, so, uh, re really actually uh, spelling it out, how it works. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, uh, one of the other interviewees today had talked about, um, you know, a physics and consciousness model, and uh, there's going to be a, a few different presenters there, at least uh, four that I know of, including yourself, that are going to have such, um, you know, ver very similar ideas of how can we how can we merge, you know, phys you know, uh, theories of physical systems with uh, with consciousness, with our knowledge of consciousness. <laughs> But um, so, in any case, I really thank you for your time today. Um, I'm lo really looking forward to your lecture. Um, and uh, this is uh, this has been uh, my, I'm Michael Leiden, and this has been William Brown. If you want more information, you can feel free to click on the links below. And uh, again, the the, uh, the upcoming congress is going to be from um, May 22nd to 24th at our uh, research campus in Evermont, in Portugal. William, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. All right. Thank <laughs> you.